Hello to all football enthusiasts! Give us a like, subscribe to the channel and write in the comments below your own pick for the best footballer in history. Your opinion matters for us. And while you're writing, we are about to start things off. Let's get the show on the pitch! Whatever it is, Barca is Barca. And when they come asking for you, of course, it's difficult to say no. With Cavani not playing at United, it's an easy decision. Dimitar Berbatov set. The house of interim midfielder Stefano Sensi was burgled. The criminal stole a watch worth about 70,000 euros. The total cost of the stolen goods is 200,000 euros. Inter announced the extension of the contract with Federico De Marco. The new agreement with the 24-year-old Italian is calculated until the summer of 2026. Jozo Kimmich has recovered from the effects of the COVID-19 and returned to training sessions. Pelli was discharged from the hospital almost a month after being hospitalized. Despite that, the legendary Brazilian will continue his treatment for a colon tumor. The exclusion of Aubameyang from the team? I don't establish my authority by being dictatorial or trying to be ruthless. I just ask for one thing – it's respect and commitment. That's all, Mikel Arteta said. Barca is offered only the loan of Dest with a buyout option. The club will either be satisfied with his sale or wait until summer. Bale, Modric, Alaba, Rodrigo and Marcelo all tested negative for COVID. The best goalkeepers in the world? These are Oblak, Courtois, Donnarumma, Neuer, Ter Stegen and Navas. Gianluigi can beat the rest in a year, Buffon thinks. A psychologist at Manchester United? In Germany we have the case of Robert NK. At times, the players might need help, Ron Gnick says. Players' complaints about the Premier League fixtures? Play the bloody game! If it wasn't for football, half of you would be working in McDonald's, said former owner of Crystal Palace, Simon Jordan. The cancellation of the Super League is a major victory for UEFA. Its objective was to fund the accounts of several clubs, reveals UEFA president Alexander Ciferin. Newcastle wants to significantly strengthen the squad in January. Their targets list includes Asmoon, Ginter, Zakaria, Denier, Botman and Gerson. The Premier League has refused to postpone the fixture between Everton and Burnley. Benitez's team has 12 players left, 9 pitch players and 3 goalkeepers. Klopp and Conte are of the opinion that the League Cup semi-finals should be held in a one-leg format. Maybe we need a strike. For everyone, business is more important than the welfare, Guardiola states. Usman Dembele is going to extend his contract with Barcelona for five years, taking a salary cut. Premier League ties like Liverpool Leeds and Wolverhampton Watford have been postponed due to guests having been infected with COVID-19. When there is no Neymar or Mbappe, PSG lacks speed and creativity. Note, Lorient midfielder Thomas Mancundu. Barcelona is interested in 19-year-old Saragossa defender Alejandro Francis. Rolf Rangnick wants to see a tall midfielder at Manchester United to replace Matic. The coach appreciates the talent of Declan Rice and Jude Bellingham. FIFA has published an updated ranking of national teams. The first place is kept by the national team of Belgium. Neymar, Claudinho, Malcolm, Coutinho, Vinicius, Allison, Ederson. All these lads are nominated for the Samba Gold Award. Sevilla are eyeing Cavani, though the Manchester United forward wants to move to Barcelona. Messi received 7 points out of 10 from L'Equipe for the performance against Lorient. It's his best score at PSG. We know what awaits us, as Liverpool is at the top of the list of clubs I had hoped to avoid in the draw, said Inter Milan boss Simone Inzaghi. Arsenal is interested in Serginho Dest. Barca wants to receive 30-35 million euros for the defender. Newcastle have contacted Dembele, though Barca is still confident that they are going to renew the player's contract. The Premier League are about to discuss with the coaches the change of the calendar and the implementation of five substitutions during the match. Barca could attempt to sign De Ligt in case they sell him Titi and Coutinho. Benzema has scored 400 and 400 first goals of his career. Ten goals remained before Thierry Henry's record among the French footballers. Cross has delivered 77 assists for Real Madrid, the biggest amount since 2014-15 season. Azar is back, I agree. He did well, tried things on the pitch. The difference is how you defend, Carlo Ancelotti said. After Messi came to Paris, the number of PSG subscribers in social media platforms increased by 1 million every month, with 20 million signing up in the first week the transfer took place. 
Real Madrid haven't lost in 15 matches since October. Ancelotti's team have 13 wins during this time. And moving on to the main news of the release. Paul Pogba has finally decided on his future, if we are to believe the journalist Rodi Galetti, of course. The Manchester United midfielder, whose contract expires next summer, dreams of returning to Turin, where he spent the best years of his career. Juventus wants to fasten the transfer of the Frenchman and get him already in January. For this matter, the old ladies' management is willing to bid for an intriguing swap deal. Alexandro plus Rabio for Pogba. Manchester United may surely take such an option for consideration. Manchester City head coach Pep Guardiola had a say about the possible transfer of Ferran Torres to Barcelona. I know that negotiations are underway. Everything is close to completion. Manchester City behave differently from other clubs when their players want to leave and the team owner tells them to stay. If you want to leave because you are not happy here, you believe you'll be happy in another place, you have to go. I'm happy for Ferran, concluded the former Blaugrana coach. By the way, friends, did you notice Pep's subtle trolling towards Tottenham and PSG management? Messi continues to amaze with his performances in the French league with a minus sign. The Argentine hasn't scored in any of PSG 8 away games this season. This is a direct repetition of the worst streak in his career. From September 2006 to March 2007, Messi hasn't scored for 8 away games in a row for Barcelona. Hopefully, Lionel is about to be in his best shape soon. Gianluigi Buffon clarified his own perspective on Cristiano Ronaldo's period in Juventus. Juventus had the chance to win the Champions League the first year he arrived, which was the year I was at Paris Saint-Germain, and I couldn't figure out what happened. When I returned, I worked with CR7 for two years, and we did well together, but I think Juventus lost the DNA of being a team. We reached the Champions League final in 2017 because we were a side full of experience. But above all, we were a single unit and there was this competition for places within the group that was very strong, Buffon shares. Once again, we have a breaking update about Erling Haaland's future. Radio Marca journalist Mario Gomez reports that his sources from Norway reported Erling having already decided on the best option for himself. He likes the Barcelona project most of all. However, that is where the problems begin. It will be difficult for Barca to pull off the deal due to the fair play rules of La Liga. The Catalans will need to either accept an agreement with the CVC Venture Fund or sell more than 500 million euros worth of players. Barcelona has to recover practically from almost all the losses that there have been states La Liga president Javier Tebas, adding the very fact that the complete Holland transfer will cost Barca 250-300 million euros into the mix. That is a crazy amount of money. It's easier to negotiate with CVC. Friends, watch our new video on the Inside Football project and find out how Chavez Simmons replaced Lionel Messi. Check it out for yourself. It was Football News. Have a nice one and see you in a bit.